mango cheesecake. This is actually my first time making this mango cheesecake. I've made berry cheesecakes before and since my dad's birthday is tomorrow, I thought I would make this mango cheesecake for him and try it out for the first time on camera. So bear with me. I mean, the only difference is the type of fruit, so I'm guessing it should go well. I hope you guys like the video and let's get cooking. <laughs> Only. So you will need four ripe mangoes, one tablespoon of mango flavored gelatin powder, two tablespoons of warm water, two tablespoons of white sugar, and one cup of crushed graham crackers. So if you can't buy pre-crushed graham crackers, you can always just crush your own. I've actually never seen graham crackers at Australian grocery stores before. So I went ahead and bought these graham crackers from an Asian grocery store. But if you can't get to an Asian grocery store, Curtis Stone, the chef of Coles, suggested to use ginger snap cookies. I personally have never used ginger snap cookies before. But I mean, if he says it's good, then... Go for it. This is really important to have the right type of biscuit with the right type of texture because this is what we're using to make the base of the cheesecake. You'll also need 3 tablespoons of brown sugar, 4 tablespoons of melted butter, 1 pack of cream cheese and I'm using Philadelphia's cream cheese. You'll also need 3 quarters cup of confectioner's sugar aka icing sugar or powdered sugar. If you guys don't have powdered sugar, you can easily take caster sugar and put it in the blender until it becomes powdered form. Powdered sugar is basically the powdered version of caster sugar, so it's one and the same. So yeah, I did that the very first time I made cheesecake and it actually turned out pretty good. So yeah, you guys should try it. You'll also need 3 quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and finally 200 milliliters of heavy whipping cream, also known as thickened cream. So step one is to slice three of your mangoes and put them in a blender. Remember to keep one for later. Now all you have to do is blend the mango until you get a mango puree. Pour the mango puree in a bowl and just set it aside. Mix the gelatin powder with the warm water until it's well combined. Now you can add the gelatin to the mango puree along with 2 tablespoons of white sugar and mix this until it's well combined. Set the bowl aside and now it is time to make the cheesecake base. In a large bowl, mix together your graham crackers, melted butter and brown sugar. Mix this together until you get a sort of wet sandy mixture. You want to achieve a wet sandy mix- you want to achieve a wet sandy mixture that looks something like this. Once you've finished with the cheesecake base, it is now time to put it in a large springform pan. However, I'm not really sure what the exact measurements of this one is, so I'm really sorry about that. But all you have to do is to flatten and even the base down with your spoon. Make use of a flat surface to even out and flatten the base. Sides are even as well. You just need to take a knife and you just need to take off the remaining excess. After taking off the excess, just flatten it down and make the base even because this is really important. Once your graham cracker base is even, it's now time for it to be put aside. In a large bowl, mix in your cream cheese, vanilla extract and powdered sugar. If you were lazy like me and forgot to cut up the cream cheese, then I suggest using a wooden fork to break it down. This works really well. Then you can use a wooden spoon once it's creamier and softer. Or you can most definitely use an electric mixer, I just didn't have one, so I mixed it by hand, which was a lot of work, but it was really fun. <laughs> this is so hard when you don't have a mixer. It requires a lot of strength. What you're trying to achieve is this creamy texture that looks something like this. So once you have this creamy texture, it is now time to put it aside. And now we're going to be whipping... 
<laughs> now we're going to be whipping the cream and since I don't have an electric mixer, as I said before, I'm just going to mix it by hand. You can totally use an electric mixer if you have one. I think whipping your cream is heaps better because it's easier to control and it makes it harder for you to over whip the cream. So what you want to do is just mix it really fast. You have to make sure that it's really cold cream, otherwise it won't work. Like the other one, this also requires strength and you need to beat it really fast. As you can see, it's gradually getting thicker and thicker. I actually think this is like the best part of making a cheesecake, is that I get to whip my own cream. One more. You need to get a consistency that looks like this. So when you move your spatula, it maintains its shape like this. So once you've whipped the cream, you can then add it to your cream cheese mixture and just fold and mix until it's well combined. Once it's all combined, it is now time to spoon the mixture on top of the cheesecake base. Then just use a spatula and just spread it evenly on top of the cheesecake base and don't use a wooden mixture, wait what? Don't use a wooden spoon to spread it because I ended up taking some of the base as you can kind of see in the cream. Once the mixture is even, you can then pour your beautiful mango puree and just spread it on top evenly. So after you have your cheesecake, we are now going to add some embellishments using mango. So you need to have a rounded half teaspoon and we're just gonna make little mango balls to put in the center of the cheesecake. So this idea went downhill pretty quickly. As you can see, it looks really gross. Um, as I said before, I've never made a mango cheesecake before so I didn't really know how to decorate it. But um, yeah, so I learned my lesson and changed my idea. Okay, so that obviously did not work, so now I'm just going to be putting it on the sides as like a border kind of thing. This would look a little bit more presentable. Also, I'm really sorry for the messy springform pan. I had to be somewhere and I kind of was in a rush, so I didn't have time to clean it up, so yes. I'm only... So this is how the cheesecake turned out and I know it doesn't look very pretty but trust me it is amazing and I actually prefer this over the berry ones I've made. But I hope you guys try the recipe out and if you have any questions let me know down below. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy birthday dad. P.S. He loved the cheesecake.